Alrighty, boys and girls. Work day, getting ready for our next trip. And one thing I need to do today is put on some uh, lap sealant up on the roof. We've got to uh, get my stuff here. I went by Lowe's, Walmart, and Home Depot, and they did not have my lap sealant. This is a self-leveling one I'll put on up there on top. Uh, so I guess I'm going to have to order it online. That would probably be the easiest way anyway. So this is part of my trusty dusty uh, equipment. Uh, things that I carry around in one of my bags here. So I have my hose clamps that you've seen. I also have some wiring uh, housing there. can't remember what the term is. Liquid nails and my clamps. Carry a few extra contractor garbage bags with me. And of course all my bag of bungees and cords and you name it. Lots of that stuff. And I've been collecting <laughs> new tarps. Yeah, these come, they're free at uh, Harbor Freight a lot of times if I go in to buy something. They always have a free item coupon so I get those. So, uh, also a little uh, Pittsburgh multi-use transfer pump. I was going to use that for uh, gas if I need it, but I think I'll use something else. So this is just some of the miscellaneous stuff that I have in one bag. I usually always carry that in the back of my truck. I don't carry this stuff through the in the pass-through. It's just unnecessary weight. It's not that heavy. But I like to save a little more room so I can get around at what I'm doing. So I wanted, I thought maybe I had one more tube of my lap sealant, but looking through my box of miscellaneous garbage, I don't. Believe me, I'm on no shortage of cordage, nylon ropes, things like that. I have lots. So, okay, I'm going to grab my knee pads, get up there. Let's do a little maintenance. All right, made it up on the roof here. The uh, things I'm going to go around and look for, and one thing I like about this roof is there's very few seams. Very little around here. But you can see there's a little, little pockmark right there. It was probably a screw. It just didn't quite do it well enough. So we're just going to go around and check all these seams. I say we. I mean me. Nobody else is going to be up here. So we're going to go around these. And these all look very good up front. I don't see anything up here. That little corner right there, I'm going to just touch that up a little bit. Put an extra die core on there. So all of these areas, we just want to make sure they're looking good. And I don't really see anything right off. The reason I came out to do it is I did notice up here that we had a few areas here I'd like to cover up better. So I'm going to put a, put a new strip of that along here. There's a little hole there. And then I noticed along here there was one spot where, if you can see it right there, there's a crack right there. Very little, very little. And I'm just going to cover this up real good right here. And uh, I like this seamless because it just goes over. And there's really no glue laid down on there. All of the solar panels nice and screwed down. And I just don't see anything else. I might put something over that. The, uh, this looks really good. I need to uh, give it a wash. I'm going to put on just a regular car wash wax on it. It's been shedding great. No problems. And uh, we'll get this done very quickly. So this is some annual maintenance, maybe semi-annual. If you get a lot of sun like we do here, a lot of UV rays at high altitude, it's hard on the tops of these. UV rays does a lot of damage, but I don't see any problems. Very little, uh, very little cracking at all. So this is uh, going to be an easy one. 
already went around and uh, cleaned these off uh, all the areas that I'm gonna do I just used isopropyl alcohol and scrubbed them real well although I don't think this lap sealant will have any problems sticking on here so it's really sticky stuff the uh, reason I did this today is I was waiting for some shade finally and we got some clouds coming in this afternoon for the next four days so this gave me a little shade and it's not 95 degrees up here so finally look we can see a little ways there's been so much smoke out here here in the Denver area and the metro so that is gonna take care of this real quick get her done all right get it all done the uh, anywhere I thought there might even be anything I just touched up a little bit so uh, you can see it's already starting to smooth out when I put it on it's a little bit lumpy they're a little peaky like a uh, good old dessert what do you call that stuff the white froth anyway uh, you know what I mean so go ahead and put on plenty don't be shy with this stuff and uh, it'll level out you know seal this whole area so I went in there and just put that stuff all over they should be good for a while the uh, Eternabond tape this stuff's incredible we tried to we had to peel some of this up for something can't remember what we did holy mackerel you talk about a mess that stuff is tough so I'd like to put a whole cover the whole thing in that stuff but it'd be very heavy <laughs> all right hope that helped out a little guys just simple maintenance you got to do it just get up there and check every now and then it's not worth the leak Alrighty, thanks for watching.